Hey everybody, welcome to our second week of eight minute and wrap formatting. So as many rounds as possible for some stuff. Today we are going to go back into our eight minute plank set that we started with last week. So also today for your weighted set, you're gonna need a heavier weight. I'm gonna go with a 20 pounder today. And then you're also going to need lighter weights. And I'm going to go all the way with fives for our shoulder work. Um, I'm going to run through what we've got coming, and then we'll get warmed up and go from there. So for your planks, uh, if you do not plank, every time that we hit a front plank, I'm going to have you hold a bird dog. So we'll hit one minute on one side, and I want you to just hold that full time. Keep thinking about all your flexions and contractions. The second minute, you're going to hold your other side. When we go to the side, I want you to go back to your next side, and then you're going to extend and tuck, extend and tuck. So then when we hit another side, you're going to extend and tuck, front, hold, side, extend and tuck, so on and so forth. From there for our cardio round, we are going to be doing jump squats, skaters, and jump lunges. So the jump squats, and with all of it, if you need to keep your feet on the ground, please do. If you need to kind of pace yourself, watch your heart rate, whatever kind of level of intensity you're coming in for today, stay there. We're gonna go for 10 reps of each. So your jump squats, and then your skaters, you're gonna be hopping to the side, pulling your other knee up, side to side, 10 each. And then your jump lunges are going to be cheater jump lunges. We're not going to go all the way down because we want to just keep the jump going. So it'll be more kind of a higher jump lunge as opposed to that full knee drop that normally I like us to take. So then for the weighted round, we are going to do, oh, I should show you. For your jump squats, if you don't want to jump, just squat. And then the skater, take a step and a tuck, step, and a tuck so you can slow it down. And then the jump lunge, just alternate, right? Set one foot back, then the other, one foot, and then the other. Now, for our kneeling thruster, you're gonna sit on your heels, and you're gonna hold the chest nice and high, hold your weight nice and high at the chest. So you're gonna sit back, but I do want you leaning forward. Puts more pressure on the legs and the core. So then you're going to thrust the hips up, drive them nice and tight at the top, getting into those glutes. You'll also feel the inner thighs. Then we're going to do a lawnmower, 10 each side. So you're going to take a nice long lunge. The elbow is going to pull next to the rib cage. You're going to small little twist at the mid back when you pull the weight up. And then we're going to do a lateral fly, shoulder fly. So just 10, super lightweights. This is why I brought my fives out. We're gonna fly up nice and high with those fives, 10 reps. Okay, so everything's gonna repeat in a cycle for as many as we can till the eight minutes are up. Let's start with a downward facing dog. Push into your thumb from first finger, pedal out your feet. Just take some deep breaths. Gear your mind and your body up for what's coming along. Drop onto your hands and knees, and we're going to do a couple shoulder shrugs. So instead of a cat cow, we're going to focus on that upper back. So shrug your shoulder blades together and then push out. We'll do four. Two. Three. Four. We'll do a thoracic twist, so put your right hand behind your head. Inhale, twist up, and then exhale, drop. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale, other side. Inhale, twist. Keep those hips as level as you can. Two, three, and four. All right, just shift, sit back and shift through those arms. Roll them out. Okay, let's hit it up. Let's go straight into that plank. So we're going to hold a two-minute front plank. Ready, set, and go. So I'm going to hang out on my elbows. If you would like to hit your 
hands, that's fine. Just take your time, scan through the body. Tuck the tailbone under, push into the elbows, and pull the elbows back toward the toes. If you need to take a break at any time, just take it. Take it and come back. Decide why you need to take a break. Is it because you're losing form, you're exhausted, you're bored, you're angry <laughs> over it, or because your back is hurting or your shoulders are hurting? For whatever reason, just kind of recognize why you're taking that break and if you really need it. So remember, if you are not planking, you're holding your bird dog here on one side. Just hold and flex. Find traction between the hand and knee on the ground. There's our first minute down. Keep that tailbone tucked under. The glutes are flexed. We're building flexion, strength, strong foundation into that core, the abdomen. Make sure your shoulder heads are up over your elbow creases. When I called a minute, I hope you switched your bird dog if that's what you're doing. Stay in that hold. Fifteen seconds left here. Three, two, and then turn to that first side. So if you're in a bird dog, go back to your first side. Now you're going to extend and tuck. Push in to the elbow. Flex through the back. Stack shoulders and hips. We're going to try to hold for the entire minute. So make sure that you keep the heat in the belly. Drive high through those obliques. The hips are pushing up, hopefully stacked perfectly. Hang in it. Deep, even breaths. 10 seconds to go. Three, two, and one. Let's go to that other side. Rotate over. Make sure that you're not too far apart from your elbow. So whenever you set up your feet, you want to have space to get that height in through that hip. Still opening the chest, pushing up out of that elbow. Front of the belly still strong. Check in with that upper shoulder as well. Kind of rotate it back and down. Twenty seconds to go. You've got it. Hang strong. Five, four, three. Two and one. Back to your front. We're going to hold a minute. So if you're in your bird dog, hold that one side. I'll call 30 seconds and then you can switch sides. But hold, flex in, tighten up, hold deep. Use those glutes. Make sure you're not starting to push back. All right, 30 seconds down, 30 to go. Pushing into those forearms, finding that traction between elbows and toes. 10 seconds left. Three, two, Turn to that side. So this time we're just going to hold a half minute, 30 seconds. 
So we'll hold 30 on this side, 30 on the other. So you're in your moving bird dog. You've got to keep that lift. Open the chest. Okay, switch to the other side. Ooh. Doing great. If you're having to take breaks, it's totally fine. Just keeping track next time we hit it up again. See if you can take a few less. Stay in your position a little longer. Four, three, two, back to center. One minute in the center. Our last one here. Find that flexion. Hold deep. Burn in the core is good. It's what we came for. If you're in your bird dog, switch to the other side. 30 seconds down, 30 to go. Probably sweating by now. Lots of flexion. Contraction. Five seconds. Two, one. Hit that side. Whew. Open up that chest. Keep punching up through those hips. You've got it. 10 seconds left here. Three, two, other side. Oh my goodness. Feeling good, feeling good. You've got it. Push the hips up forward. Open that chest. Try to keep it in the core. Try not to let it settle in the shoulder. 10 seconds left. Three, two, and one. Whew. All right, we're gonna take a little minute, a little recovery, and then we're gonna get going with our cardio rounds. So remember jump squats, skaters, and cheater jump lunges. <laughs> You want to go full range, go for it. Just figuring my legs will max out. All right. Coming up, put your elbows on your knees. Take a couple standing cat cow. Exhale, round through that back. Same thing with our cardio round. When you need to take a break, take it. And then you can jump back in where I'm at. Or if I take a break and you don't need one, just keep it up. Good times rolling. Okay. Jump squats first in three, two, and go. Belly still strong. Eight, nine, ten. Okay, then you're going to skater. Pull that other knee in. Push off that supporting leg and 10. Then your jump lunges. 10 each side. Seven. All right. So guys, just under 50 seconds. Here we go. And then your skaters. Okay. 
Nine. Ten. <sighs> Jump lunges. Line your knees and toes. Jump squats. Then the skaters. Pull that knee up. Use the core. This is going to help strengthen your hips, knees, ankles. Single leg push. Eight, nine, ten. Whew. Jump squats. Keep that belly strong. Nice job. All right, jump squats. Just hit halfway. Four minutes down, four minutes to go. Keep it going. Six, seven, and ten. Here we go. Let's get those skaters. Five. Good for those inner thighs, those adductors. Nine. Ten. Just over two minutes to go. Then your skaters check in, know what you're feeling, stay in it, try not to get sloppy.
Nine. Ten. A minute. Twelve. Here we go. That's it. Seven. Use the core. Pull the knee. Nine. Ten. Eight. Nine. Ten. Jump squats. We have 12 seconds. Get those skaters. Made it. Oh. Hoo -hoo. Want that heart rate? Recover. Feeling good. <clears throat> oh. Okay, so remember, have our thrusters, lawnmowers, and the lateral shoulder flies. That was a nice cardio push. All right, get everything set. We have five seconds. Tuck that belly and go thrust through the hips, hinge, thrust. Belly button strong. As you hinge forward, check in that you're not losing your low back. Tighten all around those thighs. Here's 10. All right, one more. If your right leg's forward, your left hand holds the weight, level off the hips, slide both shoulder blades down. Make sure you're not collapsing into the supporting shoulder blade. That side is still working. Seven, eight, nine. Switch sides. Drop that right hip. Hold the belly stronger. Flex into the back. Eight, nine, ten. Woo -wee. All right, palms face the thighs. Shoulders back and down. Feel your pinch. Stay in the shoulder blades. Knees stay soft. Belly stays strong. Chest stays tall. Then get the shoulders. Envision someone's pulling your arms away from each other. Eight, nine, nice big eagle spread. 10. Okay, two minutes down. Maybe we'll stick with it. Get four rounds. One. But stay focused. Don't rush the weighted sets. Figure out how to make it burn where you want it. Okay, lawnmower, 
start on my right side this time. Hold that core. Isolate those lats, nine and 10. Switch, level off, one. Eight, nine, ten. All right. Shoulders back and down. Belly nice and strong. Resist your drop. Six, tailbone tucks. Eight. All right. Make sure nothing in your neck is there. Okay, kneeling thrusters. If it bothers you to be on your knees, then you can stand up and do it from your feet. Like a good morning. Never let go of your belly. Flat, flat back. Eight, nine, ten. So I'm setting in from that position, wider up through the butt, and push it forward. One more. One. Eight, grab that core. Ten. Feel like your elbow is reaching back towards your hip. Nine. Ten. Ready, side. One, two. It's how you hold core, your foundation. Stay focused. When you're at this point of fatigue, I don't know about you, feeling it. It's hot, tired. That's when you have to dig deeper. Fine flexion, thighs, glutes, back, core. Two more. Resist the drop. Okay, thrust. 215, left. Flex. Get that wired up. Hurrah. Can you get as much flexion in the belly as you did with your planks? That's what we're going for. And everything, eight, nine, ten. One more, level off hips. Super focused. Where's that core? 10. Ooh, definitely feeling the heat. It's good to go a little bit lighter sometimes. Challenge the weight, but then here, something about really being able to focus, flexions, just a little lighter than I normally would go after. Three, two, one. May have overcounted that one. Okay, my friends. Get those flies. Focus flexion of the back. 
to keep it out of the neck. Two more. Nine. Ten. Eighteen seconds. Grab that core, squeeze the butt, time. Good job. Woohoo! Nice work, nice work. Okay. We're gonna start off with a little froggy stretch. So pull your knees super wide, and then get your heels just behind your knees and then slide back a bit. Just to where you can get your best stretch. You don't need to start your body freaking out. Well done. Let's turn our fingertips back toward our body. Bend your right elbow and then the left. Kind of mentioned it the other day to challenge the systems. So obviously for us, for me, okay, walk your knees in. It's what kind of has always been taught is the best thing. And uh, possibly let's lay on our backside, being willing to be wrong. You might uh, get further, do better. We're going to stretch our hamstring. So grab behind your thigh, your calf or your foot. Doesn't matter where you are. You may be way out here. Your leg may be shaking. That's fine. It's where your body's at eventually. You'll get here. But, you know, challenge. Challenge what you've been told, what you've been taught. There's all sorts of stories out there. Businesses, people, companies who have learned who've made it or lost it by being willing to rethink the design, the trend, the voice of reason. Cross your ankle over the knee and we're gonna twist to the left. Um, so yeah, it's been, it's made me rethink and hopefully we'll either solidify research what we've been doing, or we'll find new, better ways of doing it, bringing yourself back up. So feel free to enter into the process with me. If you find ways or avenues of doing things that work well for you, and you find that you're modifying or doing those alternatives for another exercise that I've been uh, delivering, um, let me know. I would love to learn from your experience and learn from your creativeness. Plus, I just get tired of the same old thing. So <laughs> I love trying new things, forcing the body in new directions in a healthy way, of course. It's all about showing back up tomorrow, being able to come back. That's why on these sessions with those are kind of set so far this summer, these formatting sessions have been much more consistent high intensity, um, throwing in cardio every time. So feel free to back off when you need. And then uh, it's, been, it's been fun to throw in uh, recovery. All right, we're going to come up to standing. And we're going to go into a wide forward fold. So toes really wide. Heels are wider than your toes, though. And then see if you can put your forearms on the ground. And then maybe even try to reach your arms through to the back. So your palms are on the ground. And maybe even the crown of the head touches the floor. Doesn't have to.
And then take a second. We're going to go into a little shoulder blade kind of rotation. So plant onto your left hand and then rotate the shoulder. So the right elbow is going to stay bent. And then I just want you to rotate that shoulder blade back, keeping that lovely joint mobile, the scapula moving, hopefully not impinged. Other side, plant onto your left hand, left elbow. Rotate, keep your hips level. Rotate through that mid spine. Last one. All right, you know we have to hit our butterfly stretch. Oh, so we'll do that. And then I'll let you go. Grab around your toes if you'd like. Lift up nice and high. And then if it feels good for you, fold forward. You do not have to. Remember, you can sit up on a pillow or a roller or a block. If your knees are up in your ears, then that might be helpful to get some space through those hips. Two more deep breaths. All right, well done. Keep me posted on your progress, how things are going. I love to hear how it's going for you. You all get to see <laughs> how it's going for me, what uh, smokes me and what doesn't. So keep the good times rolling. See you next time.